Now, as the pandemic picks up pace in many parts of the world, some Chinese students remain abroad. Three of them tell us how they are coping. I'm here in London. Uh, I'm standing on my apartment's balcony. I live alone, uh, so my, my family and I choose to stay because we still can make usual living like shopping, eating and stay here. And we but also, we believe like uh, the airport and the flight is very dangerous. It's, it's very dangerous because it can infect by this, this virus and we want to save those resource and opportunity like the flight ticket for those people maybe not have my condition because I know some overseas students they live in uh, a college accommodation and they have many shared shared rooms like they have shared kitchen they have shared bathroom in that case they have to contact with each other because they share some space with other people and you don't you, you will never know what situation what uh, what condition they other people have been, have, have been through. Um, due to COVID-19, we've been staying at home for like 10 days as the study was locked down. And we received an email from uni on the first day of the semester saying that we would no longer be allowed to attend any classes in person. So everything was pretty much moved online, conveyed either via live stream or recorded for playback. And this is gonna continue for the rest of the semester as well. For now, even though um, everyone's craving for toilet paper, like detergents and non-perishable foods, but the supermarkets are quickly getting their stocks back. Plus that they have limited the number of items can be bought from each category, so that everyone can get what they want, but not just panic buying. Also from what I've seen so far, there are um, hand sanitizers around, or even face masks and alcohol spray. So it wouldn't be a huge problem if you really need to go outside because you do have staff and guidelines to keep yourself safe. This is where I live, the university village. So this is a off-campus residential area. In terms of whether we should go back to our country, whether we should go back to China or staying in the United States. Most students around me, they are graduate students. So they have classes to take. They have research programs to finish and most of their research programs are lab based so if you go back to china and uh, but then you don't have an answer when you can come back right so i think this might not be a good option for them